everyone, it's Mrs. Pirro. Today we're going to make a beautiful picture of flowers. We're going to need to use a black crayon for some drawing and then I've decided to use my dot paints to put the color on the picture. If you don't have dot paints at home, you can use um, anything you want to put the color on. You could use markers or crayons for the whole picture. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is think about the upper half of our paper and that is going to be filled with flowers. And I want to put some centers in the picture. These are going to be my flowers. And so we're gonna put little centers on here. And you could choose to make all of your flowers the same color if you want to, or you could choose a whole variety of colors. Okay, but these, each one of these is representing a flower. So I'm gonna put some little dots in the middle that give a visual texture to the center of our flower. Okay, and we'll put a little yellow or something in there too to give that some color. But right now we're just starting with these circles and these little tiny dots. So I'm circling around and around with my black. I'm not poking at the paper and making a tapping noise. I'm going in a circle motion so that I get a nice little uh, circle dot shape that's filled in and it's big enough to see underneath the color that we're gonna add. Okay, this lower part of our picture down here will later become our stems. So we're gonna put that on last. All right, I'm going to put my name on the picture and I would like you to do that too. Take your black crayon and write your name. And then up here, kind of in the middle, let's see if this is the middle, we're gonna go a little bit to the side and I'm gonna write 20, 20 and then dash 20, 21. And that's because this school year is going to span both years. We started in 2020, we're going to finish in 2021. Okay, next thing I need to do is put some yellow on these. Remember, these are the centers of our flower. Okay, so we're going to put some yellow in there. It's okay if your black dot or black shape is smaller than the dot paint mark. Okay, the yellow can be a little bit bigger and that's not a problem. All right, I'm thinking of a flower called a poppy and I'm going to choose my red marker for that, um, my red dot paint. And I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five. Five little dots around there to make my circle. So again, if you want to use only red and make a whole picture full of red flowers, you can just stick with this one color and do that. Um, I've decided this time I'm going to do a variety of color. It's a good idea to have a blotter paper or a mat under your picture in case you need to go right up to the edges. Okay, now I'm gonna switch colors. Let's add, I'm just gonna go through the rainbow order here. I'm gonna add an orange one, put five dots. That makes a nice little circle of petals. Okay, I've already got the yellow from my um, centers and then after yellow comes green, we're gonna save that for the stem, so we're not gonna do any flowers that are green. I'm going to switch to a purple now. One, two, three, four, five. If you wanna fit six in there, sometimes it looks nice to have a sixth flower. Oh, I wonder what a blue flower will look like. Let's do that. One, two, three, four, five, and I think I'm gonna put a six on there. This one is actually a teal blue. It's kind of a unique blue color. Okay, now I have one, two, three, four, five more colors. Which one do I wanna repeat? Hmm, maybe another purple one. I think I'll do that. Okay, and I'm just pressing gently and lifting. I don't wanna do a splat mark with my dot paint because that would make it look really messy. And I don't like sloppy looking mess all over my picture. And I don't wanna break the tip of my dot paint because sometimes these foam pads on the tip get broken. And that makes it hard to paint with the next time. Okay, I'm scattering another blue one over here. And let's see, what don't I have yet? I've got two more centers. I've got two purple, two orange, two red, two blue. Maybe I'll just pick a favorite and do another one. I think I'll do another red one. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, maybe I'll do six on that one. 
maybe another purple one, whatever color you like best. Okay, and then we're going to do some stems. So I'm gonna take my black crayon again, and we will go over these stems with green, but I like to draw them in because it gives a nice, beautiful looking line on here. And then if I have one that bumps into a flower here, I just stop. I don't need to draw that stem all the way to the bottom. My other stems, I'm gonna go all the way down. I might like to add a little bug in my picture, maybe a bumblebee or a butterfly or some other bug that you really like to draw. Insects always like flower beds. Okay, so here I'm gonna draw a little butterfly. Put some eyes and a smiley on there because he's kind of a cartoon butterfly. Maybe a ladybug. Ladybugs like flowers. And this is gonna be a flying ladybug. Okay, at this point I want to put some green on my paper, so I'm going to kind of draw a line with my dot paint and make the green stems. And I even might want to put some green um, leaves in there to fill up this white space. So I don't want to leave a lot of white in this picture. This is going to be so nice. But your parents will love it. And then, hmm, I could use a crayon to color this, or if you want to be really careful and try to use your dot paint, you can kind of use the edge of the dot paint to put a little bit of color on there. If that's too tricky for you, then get out your crayons or your markers and finish the picture with that. Put some red on this little ladybug here some yellow on my bumblebee. Okay, I think I like to have a little bit of a border, a frame around this picture, so I'm going to take the green and I'm going to dot paint along the bottom of it and up the sides. Okay, and I can do that same green all the way around or I could switch and do a different color on the edges just doing a bit of a half dot and I just want to get the edges of my paper with some color so that that white is covered up. Ooh, this is looking so beautiful. All right so in these little spaces in between here um, we're just going to leave that white. Um, if you don't like the white, you could put some yellow in there. I don't want you to use blue because I think the blue would overpower your flowers. Okay, so you're gonna stick to a light color, but this will kind of fill in if you like to have most of the white covered. If you have a lot of white, you should add another flower. Make this a full picture of flowers as much as possible. Maybe some more stems down here. Oh, that's cute. Okay. Um, and that's it. We're finished for today. We've got a full picture of flowers.